Hello students, welcome to Imus Computer College. So this is our finals, second meeting actually, the finals, learning skills one. All right, let's proceed for our second topic, learning skills one. Our topic is all about characteristic of effective teams. Our last meeting is all about teams, how to work. Now, characteristic of effective teams. I have your example. First, the team must have a clear goal. Avoid fuzzy motherhood statement. Team goals should call for a specific performance objective express so concisely that everyone knows when the objective has been met. The elements of a goal including A, what is to achieve, B, a measure of accomplishment, how we will know when the outcome has reached or has been reached, and C, the time factor. When we want to have the goal completed. All right? The team must have a clear goal. Iisa ang goal or layunin ng buong grupo. Malinis, malinaw. Okay? So, I avoid daw natin yung pagiging fuzzy natin. Yung pagiging motherhood statement. Yung like, for example, hindi tayo pwede sa ganyan kasi ganito, ganyang mga dahilan. But instead of doing that, you should do the element of goal. Meron nga akong binanggit dito. A is kung ano ang kailangan i-achieve. What is to be achieved. B, measure of accomplishment. How we will know the outcome has been rich. So, measure or outcome ng accomplishment. And also, the last is the time factor. When we want to have the goal completed. Kung kailan ba yung tamang oras panahon para makakomplete or makomplete yung goal na tinatapos. Like, for example, sa mga volleyballs, basketball, na nangyari ng intramurals, meron lang time limit na kailangan nilang magawa yung play at kung inayos ang laro at maayos ang pagkaka-team grouping, grouping or team working, matatapos nila within the fourth quarter na sila ang panalo. Alright? Have must, or team must have a clear goal. Next. The team must have a result-driven structure. The team shall be allowed to operate in a manner that produces results, it is often best to allow the team to develop the structure. And three, the team must have competent team members in the education setting that can be taken to mean that the problem given to the team should be one of the members can tackle given their level of knowledge. So, yung team kailangan merong operate in manner to produce the result. And at the same time, ang buong grupo ay kailangan maging competent team members. Yung hindi yung isa lang yung nagpapalakas na loob. Kailangan lahat ay kailangan nagbibigay nga na knowledge. Next, the team must have unified commitment. This doesn't mean that team members must agree on everything. It means that all individuals must be directing their efforts towards the goal. If an individual's effort is going purely towards personal goals, then the team will confront this and resolve the problem. So all we need to be unified or when you say unified, unity commitment. Pagsasama-sama. Pwede namang magbigay ng opinion ng iba, pero much better or even better na 
open ang lahat sa isa't isa and they give their best efforts. Next, the team must have collaborative climate. It is a climate of trust produced by honest, open, consistent, and respectful behavior. When its climate team performs well without it, they failed. So, ito yung kailangan i-collaborative ng isang tao sa sarili niya para ma-contribute niya do sa buong member ng team, which is the collaborative climate. So, when binubuo daw ito ng trust, honest, open, consistent, and respectful behavior. At sa ganun, kapag meron kang mga climate of trust na yan or collaborative of climate, ibig sabihin, you can participate and tayo mong makisama in different kinds of people and behavior as well. Okay? Kung wala ka daw yan, it could be failed. Okay? Next. The team must have high standards that are understood by all. Kung may high standard ang isang team, kailangan na iintindihan ang lahat. Team members must know what is expected of them individually and collectively. Vague statement as a positive attitude and demonstrated effort are not good enough. So, hindi lang siya as in, ah, positive attitude ako, may, may effort ako, hindi lang gayon. You need to become collectively, kumbaga, isama-sama. Alright? Next, the team must receive external support and encourage. Encouragement and praise work just as well in motivating team as it does with individual external support and encouragement. You like, for example, even though hindi marunong yung isang ka-team or isang miyembro, you need to encourage her or he para naman makikolaborate siya at makisama siya sa buong grupo. Next and last, the team must have principled leadership. Team usually need to someone to lead the effort Team member, you must know that the team leader has the position because they have good leadership skills and are working for the good of the team. The team members will be less supportive if they feel that the lead team leader is putting him or herself above the team, achieving personal recognition or otherwise benefiting from the position. Next. Meeting strategies to help prepare student for group work. So, paano mo nga ba ma-meeting? Or paano ka magbibigay niya ng isang strategy sa mga sudyante na alam mo makakatulong sa kanila sa pagbuo ng grupo? As hindi lang isa sa sudyante, like for, for you, if you become a leader someday, it will help you to have... um is strategies to help to prepare your members for the work. Working in group is quite different than working individual. One of the main reasons why students find it difficult is, the, is that they were not trained to perform effectively in a team setting. An instructor can help by teaching organizational, personal, and discussion skills that will help students manage their dynamics and have positive teamwork experience. Meeting are key events during group work, and there are several techniques for running effective meeting. This sheet could be used as a handout to prepare students for effective group work. So, hindi naman lahat ng sujante or hindi naman lahat ng members sa isang grupo ay sanay makisama sa iba't ibang tao. So, it's need a, day, a, a time para makasalamuha sila sa iba't iba. So, it's, sabi nga dito, it's quite different than working individual. When, when like for example, you are sanay na gumawa mag-isa, din nagkaroon ka ng buong grupo na kailangan mo intindihin yung pag-uugali ng bawat Member. Now, let's proceed. Ito yung pagpa-planning and running a meeting. 
steps that you should be taken before a meeting happens. So, ito yung mga kailangan mong gawin kapag magpapaumpisa ka ng meeting. You need to have planning and running a meeting first. Plan the meeting carefully. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. So, makikita nyo yun normally sa mga agenda sa, for example, barangays, meeting for school, meeting for some organizations. So, you need to put who, sino nga ba ang kailangan umaten doon sa meeting na yun. Nangalawa, what? Anong purpose ng meeting na yun? Anong topic? When? Kailan yung meeting na yun? Anong date, anong oras, and everything na nagko-consider kung kailan. And where, kung saan place mo gaganapin yung meeting na yun. It's either online or face-to-face. -face. Why? Bakit ka nagpapameeting? How? Paano? And so on and so forth na magiging flow ng meeting nyo. Another, many prepare and send out an agenda identifying issue to be discussed. Siyempre, kapag magpapamitin ka, there is a purpose. Ano nga ba yung purpose mo kung bakit ka magpapamitin? And next, set up meeting room, send out background information about members. Alright? That is about planning and running a meeting. Next. Step that should be taken during a meeting. Ito yung mga kailangan mong gawin during ng meeting. Start on time. Ito kasi yung laging parang pinagbabasihan ng tao. You need to start on time. Make introductions of group. Ipapakilala every groups. Members clearly define the roles. Review revise and other the agenda set clear time limits review action items from previous meeting focus on one issue at a time so hindi kailangan sa meeting doon na na broadcast lahat ng problema so hindi mo yan masasagot you all have to do is call a person Kung may mag-volunteer man yan, kung anong gusto nang i-discuss the problem, and so on and so forth, para ma-clear at mapag-usapan ng lahat. Alright? That is for steps that should be taken during a meeting. Next. Steps that should be taken at the end of and after a meeting. Record final decision or action to be. They can assign tasks to group members. Set deadlines for the task. Set the date and place of the next meeting and develop terminally. Next, agenda and evaluate the mini meeting. Get feedbacks from members. Close the meeting. Prefer the group memo, distribute to members and to others who need to know. So, ito yung mga kailangan mong ihanda when it comes to malapit ng matapos at bago matapos pa ang meeting na ginawa mo. All of this, we have, we have seven, the seven steps that you need to take at the end and after a meeting. So, tandaan nyo itong sinasabi ko so that it will help you if you become a leader and you need to have a meeting. You should plan and running. Next. The skills that the student need to develop use promote effective group work. So, ito yung mga kailangan i-develop ng isang sudyante. Ikaw na nakikinig, you need to change or to develop yourself when it comes to promote effective group work. First, active and tolerant listening, flexibility, and of course, respect for others' contributions, participations as well, patience also, 
This is must actually. Motivation. Keeping deadlines. Communication skills. Accountability. And helping others to master content. Giving and receiving constructive feedback. And most of all, managing this agreement. So, dito kasi medyo nagkakagulo ang lahat sa disagreement sa hindi pag-agree-agree or pag-sangayon ng lahat. So, you need to manage the disagreement of all the members. So, ito yung skills that you need to develop. Kung hindi mo sigurado sa sarili mo na wala, may wala sa sa'yo dyan pag-uugali or attitudes, you need to develop it so that it will can help you. And also, sabi nga rito, to promote effective group work. Para ma-promote mo yung sarili mo, ma-develop mo yung sarili mo to become a good leader as well as a good member. A good member or a good leader is also a good member. Next. So, activities and tools that can be used in a group for meeting, open discussion. So I have here, list available resources, state differences, perception of what the real problem, brainstorm ideas. All ideas are encouraged and acceptable. Legitimize, show an understanding of how others see the problem. Kickstart with an example. Propose some potential solutions. And ask each individual for possible solutions. Okay, so that are the activities that you need or the tool that can be used in group meeting. Of course, when we have opening discussion, we will have a narrowing down the solution. So this is the solution that you need. Evaluate solution using some criteria mature solution. Address the issue rank ideas in order to prioritize Categorize solutions. Separate solution based on pros and cons. Look for redundant and overlapping ideas. And also the last, force field analysis over or what ideas give support to solve problem. Which one prevent reaching a solution? All right, so these are the narrowing down the solutions. All of this is all about team working on how you make a team grow at the same time and keeping you and helping you to become a leader someday, and it will help you to. Like, for example, you're having a meeting and you become the leader of the meeting. You need to prepare it wisely and nicely so that all of the members is, can participate as well. Now, this is the last topic for the second meeting. So next meeting, we will have one last topic, which is third meeting na po yun. And after that, that is our um, finals examination, okay? And as also, I think that is longest, if I'm not mistaken. So, okay, students, thank you for watching and thank you for listening. I hope you learned something new for today's class. See you next meeting.